For more than two weeks after the shooting, detectives have been pouring over surveillance video from the area and it's led them to an arrest. There was no need. Like, he was working. It was 8 a.m. on a Sunday. Like, who does that? 48-year-old Alan Whitworth and 19-year-old Jamal Avery were working on the morning of September 1st when a man approached. Alan himself owned the business. Uh, he was working on a project. He had 19-year-old uh, Jamal Avery helping him. There was a, a little argument between uh, them and the suspect. The suspect identified as 31-year-old Marque Cato, now in jail. Court paperwork alleges Cato got in an argument with the two men and then Cato told them he was going home to get a gun. Five minutes later, police say Cato returned with a gun in his right hand, continuing the argument. Witnesses then tell police they saw Cato shoot both men, but witnesses couldn't pinpoint the suspect. Uh, pull out your phone, take video of it, get a good understanding of what that person is, is wearing so that if you are that critical witness, you can let 911 know not just the color of their shirt, but maybe a specific logo that's on that shirt. Without details, detectives began to search while the families of the victims were left to plead for help. Somebody knows this guy. This guy, I'm sure he's not keeping it to himself. You know, somebody knows. In recent weeks, detectives pouring over hours of surveillance video from local businesses. Everywhere from a quarter mile to a mile away. Eventually identifying Cato as an armed security guard at a marijuana dispensary. Late Wednesday night, moving in for an arrest. We use tactical operation officers as well as our detectives were able to pinpoint his location. They say Cato was carrying a gun in his holster that matched the gun described by witnesses. Alan's fiance telling ABC 15 she was looking forward to facing his killer. It would mean everything to be able to look at the person and see them get justice and let them know what they took from me. Fort Hatchet, ABC 15, Arizona.